you've been to the channel before, you've probably seen both these hulks before, but these have been customized some. In this video, I'm going to showcase the, what I've done with these two figures, and let's start off with the Outback Hulk. Since we already just looked at the Compound Hulk, it's been a while since we looked at the Outback. The paintwork on this one's a little less involved than with I did with the Compound Hulk, so this is easier to talk about first. The first off, before I did the paintwork, I did the neck mod. I took some O-rings, I stacked several of them up to raise the head up. Before the head sat really low and you had no range of movement in that head. And it looked really awkward. So now, the head sits up higher and you got a lot more range of movement in that head. Look up, down, side to side, lots more tilt and just proportion wise it makes the figure look so much better having that head raised up off the ne the shoulders. It was just down so far. On the paintwork, this is a little more basic. I just did a basic wash to the main body. I washed to the, the rips of the sleeves. For the longest time, I thought these were just wraps around the wrist. Then I got really looking at them. I mean, I really was talking. Those are the jacket's sleeves from his lab coat. <laughs> so, I applied a wash of the nose, then I dry brushed some white over top of that. The same with the pants, I did a wash, then dry brushed, mixed up some gray. Dry brushed some gray on the, onto the pants. Same with the hair, dry brushed gray on the hair. And that one's basically it for this one. It's just basic wash of the body, dry brush on the pants and the hair. Raised up the head, same with on the rip sleeve, uh, coat sleeves. Wash and dry brush. Same with the hands. One thing I noticed when looking at the hands, these are actually have better fingernail sculpts than on the factory figures. On the KO figures, if you look, the fingernail sculpt on the Hasbro hands are very soft on the open hands. But especially on this on this one, you can barely see there's any sculpt on the fingernails. You can see them clearly on the KO hands. And I think the KO hands are a little narrower, too. I need to get a micrometer so I can actually measure these things and just look my eye. But uh, that was it for this one. Set you to the side. And with the compound hulk... I'll put a little more detail in this one. I applied some two, uh, two different color washes. I did a, on the red side, I did a standard black wash. Put black wash on, on all the red parts and on the, the lighter purple pants. And just standard create, create FX black wash. And on the green side, I use olive green wash. Pull off all the washes on this side. After those washes dried, on the red side, I just use a basic Evil Sun Scarlet from Citadel. Dry brush that over top of the red. It's almost a perfect match to the highlights they use on the factory figure. This is so easy to use. Just shake it. Dry brush it. It uh, makes it look so much better. And on for the green, it takes a little more effort to mix up the greens. Um, I used Glo Tester's Gloss Green and Blue Angel Yellow. I just mix them by eye, get a, just the right shade I want it, then dry brush that lighter green. I got more of a golden. You see it's got the yellow coming through the green a lot. It's like a nice highlights for the green did that through all over, over all the green parts and for the face i detailed it up really well as well black wash green wash then i went through the dry brushing of the red and the lighter green i put dry brush on the hair too and it's harder to see on the camera here i dry brush gray on the hair on this side also too i fixed the eye so you can see on the factory figure, they just did a black dot for the 
for the eye on the green side, and I detailed the eye out. What's I don't understand, they could have easily done it since this is, if you look really close, on the factory head, I don't know if you can see that on that, that is all the shading on here, it's digital printing. And it's working from a file, why not, since the eye would have to be painted the same way, why not digital print the eye? I don't get it. And I also went and detailed the hands out, painted the fingernails on the red side black, green side green, same way on the toes. Just adds a lot more detail to the figure. The, the sculpt is there. These, this body I mentioned in the original review is a fantastic body. But when you have flat colors, it looks boring. You put you don't do a detailed paint job on anything, it looks boring. Oh, well, also too, I took care of the issue where you can see the purple coming down the, the seams of the top of the black pants. I painted all the way around, put the black on top. So you, now you don't see the purple sticking out. But that's all to do this one. I did some washes, some dry brushing, just adds so much detail. You got the texture on these pants looks so much better after you added some washes and dry brushes. Just a wash alone, that's all I did on this side. Made this really bright lavender. It toned it down so much just by applying a simple wash. Same way on the black side, the true is with just adding a dry brush of gray. Solid black, black with the highlights. Just the simple basic techniques and you can really bring the detail out in this on this figure. I also like where the wash helps with the transition between the red and the green. It's just a stark straight line here. It is still separated out, but you got a nice shading here that can, helps blend the transition from red to green. But with a little bit of paint, a little time, and these actually didn't take that much time. I I did most of the work on the, I did have, when I did the O-rings, I did have to let the glue set and dry. But the paint work, I was listening to an art stream one night, uh, watching them, listening to them uh, talk, uh, going back and forth watching them draw. By the end of the art stream, this one was done. All the dry washes, dry brushing, didn't take much time at all. This one, I did this over the weekend. Like a couple days, letting everything dry, hit the washes, let it dry really good, then do with the dry brushing. I was done in day, day and a half, in between working on other stuff. But all in all, I really like how these turned out. It just took a little bit of time and time and a little patience. The biggest thing is like when you put the black wash on, just let, make sure it dries before you do anything else. Then a little bit of work and you got much more detailed figures. That bring, that brings the sculpt out on both of these just by adding just a tad bit of paint. Thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time.